Damina, you pregnant and married woman. Damina, you slept with my daughter. Ne Abel, Damina has come out to you know debunk all the sexual um lies, sexual scandal lies that have been told, you know, by other people, you know, against him. Now, actually, these lies were not told by pastors, okay? They were told by other, you know, members of other churches that want to probably uh, make Damina feel bad or bring down his own ministry lies came up um saying that damina has left with married women in his church damina slept with one, one man came up in a quiet bomb saying that damina slept with his daughter that his daughter's name is this and why talking he forgot the daughter's name that's when people knew that it was a lie like if you want to come and tell a story you have to you know you have to package that story very well when you start doing eh, 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 inside a story that you know came from your own family people now finally knew that you were just lying about Abel Damina. Now the thing is, um, Damina came out saying that he feels that all these things are things he will need to get for speaking about Christ, for opening the eyes of um, people in the world to know that some of their pastors are not, you know, preaching Christ. According to him, that is his own persecution. You know, in the Bible, when um, the followers of Jesus, Jesus disciples, they were persecuted severally, okay? Even Jesus himself was persecuted. So according to Ebed Damina, that he's been persecuted for saying the truth. So that is why people are coming up to say lies about him. And he's not, he's not angry with it. He just knows that that is his own uh, cross that he needs to carry. You know for speaking about christ and for opening the eyes of people listen to this guy that's part of my medal of honor for preaching christ so you rightly heard him there that that's his medal of honor for preaching christ now i know some people will say that okay but if damina is doing too much why is he attacking every pastor i received a, a comment this morning from somebody saying that if Abel damina really really is preaching christ why is he fighting um everybody why is it just they're attacking every pastor but if you look at it keenly i always say this i am not um against a bedamina and i am not for him too because if you look keenly without sentiment if you listen to him very well you will know that he's trying his best to to open the eyes of christian to certain things especially to tighten and you know all those pastors that will say buy this soap wash your body so that you'll be healed the video i posted yesterday about people walking through the door of prosperity a pastor just come in meeting a carpenter get a wooden door brought the wooden door to the church place the wooden door in a way that people will pass through that wooden door drop money and say they will prosper now look deep into this like you that's watching think about this do you think that is normal do you think it's normal pastors now doing more than even what jesus christ did did jesus do that couple of things no so in your head in your mind is this normal truth be told it's not normal and we all know this you see the truth, the truth about the matter is that we all know that what Abel damina is trying to preach okay is good he's trying to open the eyes of people not to you know not to do certain things or not to believe certain things that some men of God are saying because even the Bible said that at the end time there will be fake prophecies and fake prophets. But we don't know who is fake and who is real right now. Even the Ebedamina, I can tell you, we don't know if it's real or if it's fake because we don't know, right? Now, so many pastors are coming up saying certain things, but you know, it's for Ebedamina just trying to open our eyes to see certain things and say, there is no, it's not everything you will believe. It's not everything a man of God will bring water and say, drink this water and you'll be ill. Buy this water for one million naira, drink it and you'll prosper. So, the Bedamina is always talking about how people always preach prosperity, 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 and they don't preach other things. Now, I'm going to bring up a video where somebody still shared a Bedamina in Dunamis Church, okay? Uh, according to the, to the man of God, he was like, everybody should preach what they want to preach. If your own preaching is Christ, preach that one. If your own is prosperity, preach that one. If your own is this one, preach that one. Everybody should preach what they want to preach. And nobody should, nobody have the right, okay, to talk down on whoever want to preach on prosperity. So I see that that one too was targeted at Ibeda. But, you know, also without calling names. As I said, you see, most of the pastors that, you know, shading Ibeda, I mean, they don't call names. But when it comes to Ibeda, I mean, you will outrightly call names. So sometimes I feel like maybe Ibeda, I mean, too, should not call names. Just say what you want to say. People that understand will understand. And people that don't want to understand will still not understand. If you ask me again, am I okay with this 
prophet and pastor war i am not especially on social media this is not what they should be doing nigeria have a lot of problems they should solve if they have the powers it's not coming to heal this one oh this one heal this person the crushes are fake and then everybody's like go and heal heal nigeria please heal nigeria first that's what we but anyway what do you have to say under the comment section what do you think what do you think all these things that they are doing on social media is the right thing for me it's not i think they can even sit together and dialogue okay anyway please do it subscribe to the channel